Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are going to talk about getting samples. Should you get samples? Now this is not something new. I've been saying this for years and before me people have been saying this for decades, okay? So I'm not the first one to the party. It's like test driving a car. You know, I'm not going to make it. It's not going to be like super amazing if I come out and say, hey, you should test drive a car before you buy it. It's like, you know what? That's old news, you know? It's like Model T era, pre-Model T era news. It's like not news at all. So in this video, this is unstructured. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at this box. I, I, we move around a lot, and this is sometimes how chips just end up. Lots of times I put them in here. Let's say I have one right here. So lots of times I have them in these racks right here, okay? Not stacks of high society, racks, okay? And some of them, I think they're discontinued. Uh, I think a lot of these are. Anyway, so for some of my nicer chips, I like to have them in in racks. Look, here's some awesome, remember these? Grand Card Room, Blue Chip Company. Do you remember those? Those are awesome. All right. Sorry, those are not in the box, but moving. Okay. We, we've been moving a lot during the pandemic. And so things just get thrown in boxes. Okay. So here's just a box with some chips. Okay. Some chip box. Now I'm going to address some pros and cons about getting samples. First, you know, people don't like to get samples because they're impatient. And that, that's what it boils down to. They're like, I don't want chips and I want them now. All right. And so they watch my videos, which, you know, is fine. They watch other, there are other YouTubers who make great videos as well. So, you know, get on YouTube, find chips that you like. If you like the look of them, then, you know, watch, you know, you can get kind of a sense when we do stuff like this about what you want and you can probably narrow it down pretty well. However, I still like getting chips in hand and feeling them because some people really don't like the feel of ceramics. Some people don't really don't like the smell of China clays. And so we can, I can say here all the time, like, I don't have a really sharp sense of smell. I don't care for the smell of China clays, but they're not overpowering. I've been messaged by people who say that it's really overpowering and they hate it. And to me, you know, it's my opinions, that's all that's on here. And ultimately what matters more than my opinion, <laughs> you guessed it, your opinion. So whatever I say, it's overridden in a heartbeat the second you think, huh, I don't agree with that. Good. Don't agree with me. Everybody's different, so don't feel any obligation to feel like whatever I say is has any sort of bearing on your decisions. So I'm just going to dump this out. And the point of this is, first, we're going to go through the, the process, okay, of identifying what stands out to you, what looks good to you. Okay, so let's just dump this out. Just a whole bunch of chips. And I think everything in this box, these are have all been reviewed at some point, so I'm pretty sure all these might be in current production. So look at these. Oh, here's so here's a casino chip. These are not current production, but you can find them on eBay usually. So does anything stand out to you? What jumps out at you? Look at these, look at that huge pile of chips. Is there one that's like, wow, what's that? Uh, you know, it can be anything. Here's the Dia de los Muertos. This one sticks out to me. Uh, what else sticks out to me? Here's this mustache. I love the Dia de los Muertos. These are so cool. Sorry, anyway. See, now, now I'm biasing everything. To some people, it's like loud, bold colors. Other people, it's like simplicity. I mean, those in the horseshoe are absolutely lovely. So let's talk about what we're looking at. Oh my goodness, I forgot the Atlantic Club. Classic poker chips make some great chips. So let's step through and talk about some things. Uh, so some other things that I've experienced in my life buying poker chips. Weight actually matters a lot to me because of a couple of reasons. Number one, if you just grab one chip, you know, you grab two chips, it's like, oh, wow, you know, whatever. It's like half a gram or two grams different, three, maybe three grams different. And you're like, oh, not a big deal. And you're right, it's not a big deal. But when you're actually there setting up poker or carrying your poker chips around and you grab a stack of 20 of them, then that feels wrong sometimes. You know what I mean? Like if you've been in Vegas and you've been playing with, or not even Vegas, just like in a real casino, here's some jack. So if you've been playing with some real casino chips and you're used to the weight of a stack of 20 and you go out and, you know, these things will weigh, here's some horseshoe Cleveland. And so you grab a stack of 20 and 
you're used to that and you're expecting that and then you go out and get some 13.5 grams or I've seen ones that are 15 grams a chip and then you pick up that stack and it's just like like those coin inlay chips you're like wow these are immensely heavy and they feel wrong and it kind of throws me off so to me the weight is important and again maybe not for everybody some people might like the heavier chips you know it all comes down to your personal preference but for me that's something I noticed and that's the reason why if you want a heavier chip you might want to feel the difference between a stack of 15 gram versus a stack of like real casino chips depending on your experience so some thoughts you know and as far as like comparing chips it's good to do them like this and I'm not this is not one reason to buy a million samples this is one of the reasons why you watch videos is just to see which one looks good to you some people like this right here an outlaw some people may think these are lovely They're like I love that green other people may hate it they might like a darker green uh, I'm looking around I used to have some really dark green chips and yeah, I don't see any here. They're all, all the, all the greens are pretty light, but obviously different types of green. You know, look at this variety of just greens right here in this circle or in this little area right here. So, uh, and then once you see them compared to other chips, it's like, oh, those are more bold than maybe they look just on a website by themselves. So, if anything jumps out at you, I'm probably going to name a few of these. Uh, I really like classic poker chips, you know. Me, is it Poker Chips Online? I forget the website, but these are wonderful chips. They're wonderful to look at. And this Day Glow, like this Day Glow Orange, doesn't come across in video. But in person, it's like HDR glow in your face, bright orange. So I really like that. Atlantic, you know, the Atlantic Club stock chips from... Classic poker chips are just some of my favorites. These stand out to me just because I recognize them. Dia de los Muertos, one of my favorites. Love those. Uh, the Mint, is that what this is? I forget. Uh, so, so Some ceramics that you might want to look at. BBO Poker Tables has some wonderful chips, wonderful designs. You might want to take a look at those. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, BR Pro Poker, that's where I got my custom chips from absolutely stunning i love br pro poker so ceramics jump out at me i thought um i thought i saw some tiki kings was that my imagination in this box oh look here's a dice chip you want to compare you know the cheapest chips to whatever you're interested in buying that might be an opportunity for you bank chips super interesting i love the ones on the bank chips from apache poker chips is that correct and the Ascona chips are lovely. I love those hybrid ceramics. So there's ceramic with a glossy label. It adds some variety. I really like these. These are really nice. A little bit more of a premium. They make their money off of the shipping. They're going to charge you. Now let's see. What else can we identify? Scroll ceramics. That's been front and center for a little bit. We have Monaco Casino. And I forget where I get all of these. I've ordered some of these from multiple different sources. Uh, Monaco Casino, uh, Discount Poker Shop, is that the right one? Or, yeah, I don't remember. I want to say Discount Poker. Here are some horseshoes. The horseshoes are nice and simple. I really like the large denomination and just how simple the design is. This is a poker chip that it, that, so dice chips are far inferior, in my opinion than the horseshoe. Just because the denomination, the mold pattern, the way that these particular ones are finished. I'm, this uh, this one I bought from Discount Poker Shop. I paid, I'm looking here, I think I paid for all of these with my own money. I don't think any of these were sent to me as a sponsored gift or, or anything. So yeah, dice chips, horseshoe from Discount, Pro, Discount Poker Shop, something like that. What else are interesting? You guys have some, I already told you about BR Pro Poker. The Outlaws are from Discount Poker Shop. Again, here's the 100 for the horseshoe. Again, simple design. I think this is BBO Poker Tables. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Monte Carlos, people love the holographic shininess of the Monte Carlos. And I bought the, these from several different places. I think this is an Apache Poker chip purchase if i'm not mistaken but you can buy these in a variety of different places different edge qualities 
Sometimes they have flashing. If you go back and watch my old videos, I don't know if they still make them like that, but the old Monte Carlos had flashing, just like unfinished molding, loose plastic around the edges, sharp plastic around the edges. Uh, Dunes replicas. These are fantasy chips. These are not real. And I, yeah, Dunes casino. So to me, I'm kind of torn between these. I don't. I like the Dunes Las Vegas casino chips. And I'm kind of not too fond of these now, just because when you're collecting, these kind of appear sometimes as people mistake them for real Dunes chips. Pharaohs are one of my favorite China clays of all time. More Dunes China clays. Bank China clays. This is an awesome set. So versatile. Uh, you've seen the casino chips. This is Top Hat and Cane. Obsolete. Worthless. Not worthless, but like you can't redeem them for the dollar face value. Chips. Here's another. I talked about the Ascona from Sunfly. Apollo on chips. The Ascona hybrids. And then we also have the Ravenor, which is a ceramic chip with a mold. So these are actually indented into the plastic. These are lovely, simple chips. You know, nothing fancy if you're not into calling too much attention to yourself. Here's some knockoff. Rio World Series of Poker. I think these are VR Pro Poker's variety. King of the River Poker. We have some Monic more Monaco. $10. You guys are playing your 510 games. I know there there's a huge... Like, I talk to people just being out here on YouTube. There are people who run, like, huge games where they're running, you know, 5,100 blinds, you know, and it's just, like, big-time games. And... A lot of people, you know, run penny games, you know, where it's like five cent, ten cent, you know, and they're using like dollar chips, just five, five and ten, you know, to, this is Horseshoe and this is Monaco, but yeah, just five, ten cent games. I mean, there's a huge variety of people. Oh my gosh, here's a custom chip. How did this get in here? This is when I was practicing, like, I just used photographic paper and just printed some things out and I used a one inch craft punch and just punched a thing out and glued it onto here. Uh, those were some fun days trying to just work on design. What else? Do we, oh, here's another design. Speaking of, speaking of custom inlays, this is all just photo paper. You can see I just trying to get the colors right because you know what you see on the screen is different from what's printed on the photo paper. Eh, whatever. Just fun. Oh, here's a Tiki King. Yeah, this is this is my family's favorite set. My favorite set. I still like it. It's overplayed. I know. I get it. But. That's what we like. More bank chips, more outlaw chips, discount poker, BR Pro, BR Pro, Horseshoe, discount poker shop. Majestics, really awesome set. China Clays from Apache Poker Chips. They look good. Uh, I think I covered most of them. Oh, I think these are Spartan. Again, discount poker shop. A lot of these ABS Metal Slug chips are. And when, when you get, you know, the stacks, you'll notice that there's... There can be quite a difference between ceramics, china clays, uh, and the way that they sound, you know. I'm just going to mix them here. Today. Oh, here's a skull. Nevada Jack skull. A little busy for some people, but a lot of people really like this chip. I really like that chip. But yeah, ceramics. They all sound different, have different weights, uh, you know, so to each their own. So let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If something jumped out at you in this video, go research it. Maybe go get a sample set. And if you're not gonna get a sample set because you just decided you're not going to, that's fine too, you know, just find something you like the look of and just go out and get it. If you're not that sensitive to feel and smell, I'd say those are the two biggest things. Feel including weight. So just how they feel and the texture, you know, how they shuffle. Uh, some people like sharp edges, like you're going to find on crisp new casino chips. Like, for example, Blue Chip Company has really sharp edges. Uh, some little things like quality control, how flat are the chips, and little things like that. So, uh, let us know what stands out to you out of these, or maybe, like, I didn't include, there are tons of chips. Like, I don't know if this was in that box, but here's a Casino Royale from Apache Poker. James Bond themed, 007 themed chips. So let us know in the comments below.
all about this. Do you get samples? Do you hate samples? I know some people are adamant, like recruiting people not to ever buy samples, just get the chips that you like. You should know chips is another thing that I've heard. If you don't know, but if you do know, you don't need to get samples. I agree with that. If you don't, oh, here's a unicorn, some unicorn chips. These are also, speaking of different weights and textures, these unicorn chips are just plastic with no, no metal slug insert. So they're lighter than China clays and metal slug chips. For me, I still, you know, for my with my close associates, like my real life friends who come and visit, like family who come and visit, they're interested in poker chips. I don't tell them to get samples. I just bring them down here to my little studio and I'm like, here, find some chips you like. And they'll sit here for surprisingly long periods of time. I'm like, oh, it'll take five minutes, right? They're like, oh, I like these, get them. Oh, I like the outlaws, get them. No, they're, they can be down here for like an hour and a half. And I'm surprised at how in depth, you know, it's like with this variety of chips, they're just like, wow. And they're looking at all the molds and they're looking at, you know, every little detail. And to me, you know, it's just like, I already know what I like. So, but to somebody who's new to poker chips, they need, they need to see that there are so many options available now, which I think is great. We need the variety. So huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you for your support. And if you would like to join us on Patreon, feel free to visit the link in the description below. I, I accept general support, which means I'd like to post a couple updates here and there every month, but that's it. Just supporting this channel. Really appreciate it. You can also support this channel by visiting my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. There are some poker chips on that shop, but don't feel like you need to buy something from that shop. Just find something you like. That's the most important thing. And I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.